Today, I'm going to talk about a little something for those of you who don't know. Now, for the benefit of those who are unfamiliar with MGTOW, what exactly is MGTOW? I'm not going to really pause this one too much, but it is surprising that he used the term movement because it is just a philosophy and it is just a lifestyle. There is no quote-unquote movement and there is no political push that is MGTOW and it stands for men going their own way. I'm not going to really pause this one too much. Now, what this essentially means is that you are aware that men are no longer interested in relationships, dating, marriage, and all of that other stuff all right. But that's not really why I'm here today, rather, I wanted to talk about something that I had sort of planned out for an epiphany this morning, and this realization isn't necessarily something that just occurred. To tell you the truth, this is something that I've been aware of for quite some time. What I want to talk about is the movie War Games, which, if I'm not mistaken, was released in the year 1984. It stars Matthew Broderick, and I'm not going to give you the full plot summary of War Games. What I'm going to do is talk about how the ending of War Games and the ending of the scene relate to MGTOW and MGTOW philosophy in general. That's all I'm going to do. Now, take a look at this. In essence, there was a computer that was attempting to, say, destroy the world by releasing nuclear weapons or whatever, and the only way for people to beat it was to play a game of tic-tac-toe with it. I'm not going to spoil everything for you, but at the very end of the movie, the computer says to Dr. Falcon, this is a strange game, and the only way to win is to not play. When I heard that, I realized that the only way to win was to not participate in the game. I thought it was very insightful, it was a very you know it is actually quite insightful that the only way to win is to not play when it comes to MGTOW when you stop to think about it, it applies to both of those things. And I'll tell you why when a man enters the dating world when a man decides to take women out on dates and fall in love and basically what is he doing when he does all of those things, he is giving women what they want rather than worrying about what he wants, which is the right way to play the game. At this point, he is no longer concerned about his own happiness, rather, he is concerned about the happiness of the woman he is with, which is also the right way to play the game. He is not worth it. And so what ends up happening 9 times out of 10? Well, the man ends up heartbroken and probably in debt depending on how his money situation is because, as you probably already know, women represent stress and debt if you're chasing after them. Then, in essence, what you are tracking and what you are chasing is a life filled with anxiety and financial strain. Tom Lucas used to say that they were a liability, but in reality, they are just an expense. The cost of maintaining a female companionship is significant. Because of this, I believe that the movie War Games was correct in its assertion that the only way to win the game is to abstain from playing. I thought that was a very insightful statement, and uh, all I can say to the men out there is that this is true, and the only way you can win the game is to simply walk away from it. This is what I mean when I say that men should go their own way, because I don't. I want to make it perfectly clear that I am not advising you to separate from your wife. Similarly, if you are currently in a relationship with a girlfriend, I am not advising you to end the relationship. If you are married, then you are married. If you are happy, then you are happy. You know that. All I'm trying to say is that there are times when it's to a man's advantage to concentrate on himself, his money, and his individual financial situation. His personal mental health, as well as his personal physical health, as well as his overall personal well-being. You need to have your mental health, you need to be at least healthy and maybe strive for a bit of physical health, and obviously you need to be able to take care of yourself. These are three very important things to have. And sometimes you might not be able to find happiness in the arms of a lover, you know you might not you're not going in and you can't find happiness from someone else someone else this is a difficult pill that I had to swallow all by my damn self um. And sometimes you might not be able to find happiness in the arms of a friend either. Something that I came to understand over the course of time was that the reason why I was unable to find happiness with my ex-wife was due to the fact that she did not know how to do so on her own. Okay, this was a revelation for me. Happiness is a byproduct of accomplishment, so if anyone is unhappy, it's because they haven't accomplished something, no matter how big or how small it is. She didn't do it. Happiness is a byproduct of accomplishment. We need to establish our objectives and work toward achieving them. 
She did not understand how to find fulfillment in her own life, and as a result, the things that I attempted to do resulted in me making a significant error over the course of many years. I tried my best to make her happy. I tried to do things for her, and I tried to talk to her in a particular way. I also tried to buy her presents and take her on vacations. I did an awful lot of things correctly. It was a waste of my time and it was a waste of my money, and as a result, men are better off not participating in this process at all. Guess what? She was still dissatisfied with the outcome. It is better for a man to focus on his own happiness, and if the fact of the matter is that you cannot make a woman happy, then it is actually better for the man to focus on his own happiness. The key to happiness is finding it within oneself, and if you want the people around you to be happy, you need to be happy first. This is because happiness is contagious, and if you're not happy, they won't be happy either. You can't make someone happy because happiness is a state of mind, it's not something you can give to another person, and it's not a sensation that you can create in another person. No matter how much effort you put in, no matter how many presents you buy for them, no matter how many vacations you take them on, no matter how many little itty bitty things you buy for them, and no matter how much you know to whisper sweet nothings into their ear, nothing will change. That won't work, it's as simple as that, happiness is something that one cultivates within them, it's a state of mind full stop, and that's all there is to it. I just wanted to let everyone know that if you haven't seen the movie War Games, which, if I'm not mistaken, was released in the year 1984 and starred Matthew Broderick in the United States along with a fantastic cast, fantastic movie, and fantastic script, then you should definitely check out the film War Games. That way, you can get the full breadth of it, you know, you can understand the width of the movie, and that's it. The movie is very profound, and that's all there is to it.